Three Supernovas doing a show. Supernova game and color. Let's go! Hello, welcome to Supernova Gaming. I'm Tommy Supernova and I'm doing the gaming. We're playing The Wolf Among Us, Chapter 3. We've just gotten back to the bar and I guess I'm going to pick it up back here. I had to backtrack because apparently I didn't autosave. Whoops. I thought I would have autosaved before like going to flycatcher or something, but apparently not. Alright, let's get back into the game. For the pain. Look, the deal is... Oh, fuck. And it turned off my subtitles, too. Why? Okay, back to the game. Again! Is this going to sleep like I am right now? It gives you a very, very, very nice high. Okay, we're right back where we started. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. And he's gonna do it anyway. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. And I feel like having a drink, okay? <laughs> An after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. Gonna take a drink and see ya. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? <laughs> Can't Sorry, say Woodsman. Can't there help things much. Gren. Don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. Good! I wanna clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Alright. I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Bran Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. Fine, one goddamn drink. And then let's go to the dead. All right, now help me. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh! <laughs> Guys! What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. I Whoa. absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. End whatever this is so we can just move past it. Oh wait, I forgot. It's great you're here, since you were the one who told us about it in the first place. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Ew. And none of it would have come out if Bigby hadn't have said nothing. Give me a break, like it's his fucking fault. She liked me, okay? There wasn't anything wrong with it. Oh, she liked him. All right, well that changes everything. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. Damn, what dude. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? 
He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Dude! Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Seriously. Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? Come on, let's just be actually do Lily. something. Did she ever mention anything about a witch? Come on! No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Damn it, that's another dead end! Gren. Come on, Gren! I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What All right. Day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Gren won't remember this. Uh, see you, Gren. What am I looking at? Oh, there's her stuff! How do I get it? She's supposed to stay asleep! What am I looking at? Bottles? Why did I do that? That's why I did that! Okay! I thought I would just fucked up, but apparently I did a good thing. I'm a good person and people say nice things about me! <laughs> that you, Woody? <sighs> Woody, is that you? No, Holly. It's me, Big B. Big B. Bar's closed. And it Excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. That's but fine. What the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You <laughs> always do what you want. Oh man, getting that truthful drunk out of you. Come on now, don't make me feel bad. 1934. How long have you guys been here? Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. Hey, he's the a stray ones that too. Hung in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. I. You're <laughs> friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. <sighs> Damn it. Is the frickin' Tweedle again. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I, I came to say I was sorry, Holly. For the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't. <sighs> that. Uh oh Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? Crane. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? What do you mean? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. Oh, I'll good. She it. will remember it. If you were 
getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? It's the phone. Okay. Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. I told you not to worry. Right. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll meet you down there. All right, I'll see you there. Oh, that was chapter four? Huh. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Knock, knock! Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Make sense? Mm, nah. Ah! Oh my god! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Don't hurt me! We are so sorry. We didn't realize you were right there. Where's Crane? Is he hiding in here? Has he left? I'm, I'm sorry! I'm, I'm sorry! It's I... alright. It's it's okay. Calm down. We're not here to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you, but I will push you out of the way. Are you sure? Yes, Mr. Wolf can get a bit excited sometimes, but that's all over with now. Nah, I'm this sure is bullshit! You. Now, what's your name? Oh my god, shut the hell up, motorcycles! Who are, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah. See, this I kid's cool. The men cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim. Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsmen friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But, I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Okay, kid. Look, I'll make you a deal. If you're good, I'll give you a whole demonstration. I'll be me, and you'll be the grandmother. Though, uh, I don't know if Miss White here would necessarily approve. <laughs> okay, deal. This is a cool kid. Look, is I'm sorry, any, kid. Is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. Oh, you can't promise that! <laughs> I can't promise I won't touch anything. I want to touch everything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. What? That's kind of okay, Mr. information Wolf. that I you didn't you have to volunteer. To Don't get me in trouble. What all are you right. For specifically, Crane, you could still be here. So this entire house is pretty wicked as shit. That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. Honky tonk. I'm counting for taste. <laughs> All right. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never that was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. Dowdy. That's how we like it. <clears throat> Is she supposed to be a fable? Because uh, it's not ringing any bells. No one's been over on. 
What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Hmm. She keeps volunteering that information. My detective Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. Oh, sorry, gonna... Okay. And open the door. <laughs> I thought that was, like, the, the number for... Mm, the butcher. The butcher. I don't What's like that? that. A package. Having to do with someone called the butcher. Mmm. It's empty. Interesting. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here, either. Nothing? The plot See? stagnates, damn it! Why are you so happy to get rid of me, huh, kid? How much longer do you think it'll be? Oh, kid, you are like on the precipice of annoying and not annoying. I don't know what to do with you. Oh, look, it's a secret door. Damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks okay. all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. Look, I have to check this out. I'm sorry. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! That guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. Sorry, kid. <laughs> Okay, that's it, not a kid. It yeah. hurts when you do it that fast. <sighs> you think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. No, it doesn't! Right. Start explaining. And from the beginning. Where's Crane? Speak quickly. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. <sighs> Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize Come that? Come on now! You might want to check your facts on that. You're part of the glamour that you put it to... Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest you in... You were the enabler! ...skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. I'm gonna burn that tree. Whatever it is, Chris, Don't let me burn that tree, I will burn it! You from saying something, I will set this whole prepare. building on fire. This is more important. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Nope. Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. Oh, we're gonna do something to the tree. Destroying the tree. Oh, on the next episode, we're gonna set the whole building on fire. Don't worry, it's a fable building. I think those grow back too. I don't know. Maybe. Alright. See you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye and ba-boom.